donning PPE, gown and gloves, emptying a urinary drainage bag, measure and record urine output, and remove PPE with hand washing. Cover all surfaces of hands with hand sanitizer and rub your hands together until your hands are completely dry. Explain the procedure to your resident. Maintain respectful and courteous interpersonal interactions at all times with your resident. Provide privacy for your resident by pulling the curtain. Open and unfold the gown. Face the back opening of the gown. Place the arms through each sleeve. Secure the neck opening. Secure the gown at the waist, making sure that the back flaps cover the clothing as completely as possible. Put on your gloves and ensure that the cuffs of the glove overlap the cuffs of the gown. Place a barrier on the floor under the drainage bag. Place the graduate on the previously placed barrier. Clean the drain with an alcohol swab. Open the drain to allow the urine to flow into the graduate until the bag is completely empty. Avoid touching the graduate with the tip of the tubing. Close the drain and wipe the drain with an alcohol wipe after emptying the drainage bag. Place the graduate on a level flat surface. With the graduate at eye level, measure the output. Empty the graduate into a designated toilet or bedside commode. Rinse equipment, emptying the rinse water into designated toilet or commode. Return equipment to storage. Remove gloves before removing the gown with one gloved hand grasping the other glove at the palm to remove. Slip fingers from the ungloved hand underneath the cuff of the remaining glove at the wrist 
and remove the glove, turning inside out as it is removed. Dispose of the gloves in the trash container without contaminating yourself. Next, you'll unfasten the gown at the waist, unfasten the gown at the neck, and remove the gown without touching the outside of the gown. While removing the gown, turn the gown inward and keep it inside out. You will then dispose of the gown in a designated container without contaminating yourself. Record the output in MLs on the signed recording form. The candidate's recorded measurement must be within 25 MLs of the RN test observer's measurement. Lower the bed. Place the call light or signaling device within easy reach of the resident. Begin by turning on the water and wet your hands and wrists thoroughly. Apply soap to hands and rub hands together using friction with the soap. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. Scrub and wash with interlaced fingers pointing downward. Wash all surfaces of the hands with soap. Wash wrists with soap. Clean fingernails by rubbing fingertips against the palm of the opposite hand. Rinse fingers, hands, and wrists thoroughly under running water with fingers pointed downwards. Starting at the fingertips, dry fingers, hands, and wrists on clean paper towel. Discard paper towel in the trash container if they're used and turn off the faucet with a clean, dry paper towel and discard paper towel into the trash container. This concludes the video overview for donning PPE, gown and gloves, emptying a urinary drainage bag, measure and record urine output and remove PPE with hand washing. Please stay tuned and like and subscribe here on our YouTube channel and stay up to date with more videos and more information to come very soon. Thanks for watching.